Cyrus, the frightful lizard. Did I scare you? Oh yeah, I'm the dino. Ah! Look at that scary dinosaur. Run for your life. That was a close one. Let me help you say my name. Das Pleto Saurus. That's Pleosaurus. <laughs> 75 million years ago is a horror show of carnivorous monsters. But you're never going to find another scarier than me. See these teeth? These are dagger sharp, curved, and they have the same edges as saw. See? Saw? Get it? Ha <laughs> ha! These teeth are huge. Uh, only smaller than my future cousin, Tyrannosaurus Rex. But they're still big! Uh, like I said before, uh, my name means scary lizard. And there's nothing scarier than me. Uh, let's think of some scary animals. A lion is scary, all right. <laughs> what else? A great big grizzly bear. Those are totally scary. <laughs> you. It's my choppers as much as my size. Uh, I'm one frightful lizard, all right. I'm also hungry. Now that is scary. Get on with it then. I am Eotyrannus, and this is the early Cretaceous period, over 130 million years ago. Oh, these two young sprouts here are juvenile Eotyrannuses, and fine young fellows they'll turn out to be, I can assure you. Today, I'm about to teach these fine young fellows how to hunt the mighty Comsonathus. Yay! Eotyrannus fossils have been discovered in these parts of what is now Britain. It's where Compsonathuses are found as well. And Compsonathuses just happen to be our favorite meal. Isn't that right, chaps? Now, some of you may think that all members of the Tyrannosaur family are to be found in either Asia or North America. The fact is, we're all over the map. My name, Eotyrannus, means early tyrant lizard. Yes. We Tyrannosaurs are certainly the most ferocious carnivores. That means meat-eater to have ever walked the face of the Earth. Why? Eh? What's all that racket then? Where was I? Oh, yes. Now, we Eotyrannuses are a bit smaller than our cousins, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But we're just as skilled as the next chap when it comes to what we're really good at. Namely, hunting the mighty Comsonathus. <laughs> And that's what we're going to do today, right, chaps? Now, the most important thing about hunting the mighty Compsonathus, keep your eyes and ears open at all times. Ready, Sprouts? Let the Compsonathus hunt begin! It's very easy to say, Min, me. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period, 150 million years ago. These, these are my friends, Larry and Moe. We're very special dinosaurs called Ankylosaurs. Ankylosaurs are dinosaurs that eat plants and have armored plates on our backs. And today, we're gonna have a race. Hey. What are you trying to pull? Oh, come on. With all that body armor on your back, you didn't even feel a thing. Ta-da! Now, are we gonna race or not? Sorry, all of this racing is making me hungry. What are you talking about? We haven't even raced yet. <laughs> Minmies aren't very big. We're about the size of a full-grown lion. Good 
should have raced Australian back by now. That's where our fossils were found, in what's now known as Australia. A place called Minmi's Crossing. Get ready, get set, and... Uh. Eh, I don't feel like racing anymore. You? We're not very fast anyways. Let's just go for a slow walk then. Besides, we all know who would have won. Yeah, me! what I call fresh air on the open range. My name is Iniosaurus. That's i ni o -saurus. It means buffalo lizard. Did you know that I'm from what is now known as Montana? Only here, nowhere else in the world. You know, there's more to the late Cretaceous period than trees and stinky flowers. I'm a ceratopsid. That means I'm a herbivore. I eat plants. And I have a beak. And we have these big curved horns on our noses. Looks like a big bottle opener, doesn't it? Too bad there's no such thing as bottles in the late Cretaceous period. And I live in a big herd, which is great if there are any big dinos around that might be a threat. Just one of us might not be enough to scare off a big gobbler dino, even though we're six meters long and weigh two tons. But put us all together, and there is safety in numbers. And hey, if that doesn't work, there's always the old stampede! hello to the sun. You wait right here, babies. Mama's just gonna go talk to these folks for a minute. I'm Gallimimus. That's ga -li -mim -mus. My name means chicken mimic. A mimic is someone who copies someone else, but I don't think I copy a chicken at all. to know what chicken is as long as me. From the top of my head to the tip of my tail, I'm almost as long as a big car. There. You see, even though I have these really big, pretty eyes, I can't tell how far away things are, or even things right in front of me. I have to look sideways, like this. My babies! Oh, this is so exciting. I wonder what they'll be. <gasps> Baby Gallimimuses, just what I wished for. Well, I better start feeding them. Bye! Hey there! Come here! Closer! Closer! Too close! 
Ah, that's better. My name is Dilophosaurus. That's Dilophosaurus. I live here in the early Jurassic period. That's 200 million years ago. Whoa, look at that. Two cicades. One, two. I love the number two. Dilophosaurus means two crested lizard. See, one, two, two crests, ha! I'm a theropod. That means I run on two legs, two. And it also means that I eat meat. Two dinners to go. Yum and yummier. Hmm. I live in what is now known as Arizona in the USA. I am the great, 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 great granddaddy of modern day birds. But I'm a lot bigger. In fact, I'm the biggest meat eater alive here in the Jurassic period. And here are my two favorite twos. My kids. What do you say we play two games of tag and find two snacks and pick two plants for mom? Wow, sure me, 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 me. Great. See you tomorrow. You say that plea so sorus My name needs near lizard, and this is the early Jurassic period 180 million years ago. I have to gather up the babies and get them to school. Okay, it's time for school, you three. Our four flippers let us move through the water as easily as flying through the air. It's our best defense against predators bigger than us here in the water. Now where do they go? And this is the other defense we have against predators. We blend into the underwater scenery. <laughs> Got you! Ah! I'm a medium-sized plesiosaurus, as you can see. I'm only slightly larger than a human being. Oh, and plesiosaurus are not actually dinosaurs. We're big reptiles who live in the water. The way you can tell us apart from dinosaurs is what our legs look like. Mine are springing like this, and dinosaur legs go up and down like a human's. Anyway, plesiosaurus eat lots of fish, and our teeth are mesh, so when we grab a fish, we never let go. Our fossils have been found in many places because a lot of the Earth was covered with water in the Jurassic period. See? I got you to go to school after all. I think it's time for recess, don't you? Let's go to the top for some air. Bye! Supersaurus, and welcome to my home here in the late Jurassic period 150 million years ago. My name means super lizard because I'm so big, one of the biggest dinos ever. You gonna eat those? Yes, Charlie, I'm going to eat those. We have to eat all day long. It's the only way we can grow this big. Uh, I feel faint, I'm wasting away. <laughs> I need to eat something. But right now, I have to find a pond or river so my herd can have a drink after we mow this field. Uh, water, water, I need water. I'm 43 meters long and 16 meters high. That's super sized, all right. <sighs> so thirsty, I'm delirious. Mother, is that you? No, Charlie, I'm not your mom. She's back there with the rest of the herd. My neck is really long, but I don't lift it up high as it's too heavy, but it's perfect for... 
pushing through the trees to find more food. Or, hey, water! Hey, don't take it all! It's my turn! Come on, move over! Don't worry, Charlie. There's plenty for everyone. I'm gonna tell the herd I found water. We live in what is now Western Colorado in the USA. Hey, everyone. There's water in the conifer forest over there. You gonna eat those? You say it. Pteranodon, and it means winged and toothless. That's right. In my beak, I have no teeth. Do you want to know a secret? Hey, Pteranodon, I'm going to the picnic now. Oh, the dino picnic. Really? Do you think I can come? Yeah, sure. Every dino can. Remember that secret I want to tell you? Well... The secret is that I'm not a... So okay. Let's go. I'm from what is now Kansas, in the USA. But that's not the secret. Secret? I love secrets. I have hollow bones to make me light, and I have a huge wingspan. About 10 meters wide. That's as wide as a hand glider. That's not a secret, Pteranodon. Okay, fine. Do you want to know my secret? Well, here it is. I'm not a dinosaur. <coughs> That's right. I'm not a dino at all. I'm a flying reptile. I'm related to the dinosaurs, but not actually one myself. I guess I can't come to the dinosaur picnic now. By the way, dinosaur means great lizard. As far as I'm concerned, it also means friend. Yippee! <laughs> Thanks, T-Rex. You're the best. My best friend and I are going on a picnic. See you later. Sneak up on me like that. Give me a heart attack. Let me introduce myself. I am the Bipiosaurus. And yes, I have feathers. I was flying there a second ago, looking for some plants to eat. Did you see? Okay, okay, well, maybe it was more like I fell out of the tree. But I did feel lift on my wings just before I hit the ground. Heart. Did you hear something? Because I definitely heard something. Ah! Oh, I do say, excuse the interruption. You don't have to hide. Really now, I'm the Microceratus, one of the smallest dinosaurs ever. What can I possibly do to you? They should have been named Chicken, not after Bai Piao, the city in China where they found the Bai Piaosaurus fossil. I am not a chicken, just careful. Besides, would a chicken try to fly again? Huh? <laughs> It's just mind over matter. I can do this. <laughs> Whoa, that's a long way down. Okay, so my feathers aren't made for flying. They're more like downy fibers. But they're still feathers, right? And I'm not super huge or anything. I'm only a little bit taller and heavier than a man. All I have to do is think positive. I am positive! <laughs> What's up? Look at me. I'm huge. I'm an apatosaurus, and I'm not lying when I tell you 
that I'm 23 meters long, from nose to tail, like a 10-story building is tall. Excuse me, they told me an Apatosaurus was down here, and I'm really hungry. Nope, not around here. Maybe over there. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm being a tree, because that's what I am. And I made of wood. I taste awful. Okay. You kind of look like an Apatosaurus, though. Nope, I'm a tree. Well, yell if you see one, okay? Yeah, like I'm going to tell Mr. Bottomless Pit over there anything. Walk with me. My fossil was found in what is now known as the United States of America. I am a seropod. Which basically means we walk the lizard walk. We can't help it. It's the way our legs are placed on our bodies. Hell you. But, uh... Hey, aren't you that tree from before? Nope. I'm a hill. Just a hill. I should tell you, the word Apatosaurus means deceptive lizard. We're always playing tricks. So good. Love it. You should taste these plants and grass. It's so good. Oh, excuse my manners. My name is... So hungry. Oh yeah, my name is Brachiosaurus. Wow, I'm hungry. Yes, I know I don't look a kilogram over 60 tons, but I'm still growing. I'll get to be about 16 meters tall. Anyway, I think there's a forest over there I can eat. After all, I'd eat my 200 kilograms of food a day. Aren't you scared of me? All dinosaurs are scared of the Allosaurus. No, no, I'm a Brachiosaurus, a plant-eating dinosaur. I'm a herbivore. Bye. Hmm, all this talk of food is making me really hungry. The herd! Yay! I thought I lost you guys. Excuse me while I join my herd. Oh, I'm lost again. Hey, look, a delicious forest. Oh. 